Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So when we're getting into uh, determining the LCD um, with rational expressions, it can sometimes get confusing. And you know, basically, even when we're dealing with fractions, it got confusing for a lot of students. Because when we needed to add fractions and we had unlike denominators, um, we had to find that common denominator, which LCD represents the least common denominator. And when we're talking about common denominators, basically what we're doing is we're saying, you know, what is um, the least common multiple of our denominators. So a lot of times we interchange LCD with LCM, which is the least common multiple. Um, but we're looking for the least common multiple of our denominators, so that's why sometimes we swap it in as LCD. So basically, um, one of the first things when we're you know, learning this is we just kind of list the multiples. 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 15, 18, and then I do 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. And what we want to do is find the smallest number that they both share, which would be their multiples, which you guys can see here is 12. So once we know what our LCD is, we want to multiply each of our fractions by, um, uh, by multipliers that are going to produce equivalent, equ equivalent fractions, but that have the same denom uh, denominator. So for instance, I'd multiply this by 4 over 4, and this one by 3 over 3. Therefore, now I produce an equa or a fraction expression 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths. So you guys can see that um, in this case, now they have the least com now they have the common multiple. Now, what you notice is, oh, I'm just multiplying 4 times 3 and 3 times 4. And a lot of times students just get that memorized and say, oh, that's what I always have to you know, multiply by. Well, that's not always the case. The least common multiple or least, least common denominator between 2 and 6 is not 12. It's actually 6. Right? Because if you were to list the multiple, 6 is a multiple of 2. And the first multiple of 6 is obviously 6. So therefore, instead of multiplying this fraction by 2 over 2 and this one by 4 over 4, I can simply just multiply this left side by 3 over 3, producing an equation of 1 6 plus, I'm sorry, 3 6, 3 6 plus 1 6 which now I can go ahead and combine. So I bring this kind of review because now as we get into finding the LCD of polynomials, it's kind of like the exact same thing. We're now dealing with letters or numbers as well as variables. So um, when we're looking into the LCD, you know, one of the common things that we can always do, and actually I forgot to mention this, I forgot to do this one. I forgot to write this in there. 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 2. Okay, so in this case, you know, again, when we're looking into finding our multiples, um, we see that in this case that the least common multiple between these two, you, again, we, we multiply our numbers here, 3 and 4, so we know the LCD is going to equal 12, right? Because obviously that's the LCD of numbers 3 and 4. However, the least common multiple between x and x is just x because they both share an x. All right. Even if I threw up here an x squared, um, their least common multiple that they both share, again, now would be an x squared because that's going to be the multiple that they both share. So again, you're looking into um, you know, what, you can, what is the smallest number you can divide both into, into each of them. Now, when I have this expression here, now I have some binomials. Uh, 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x minus 2. Now, in this case, um, it really is just going to be your product. My LCD is just going to be x plus 1 times x minus 2 because you can't list the multiples like we did over here. Um, but we can say, well, I know if no matter what, if I multiply my denominators by each other, then whatever their product is a multiple of both of those denominators. So that's what I'm just going to go and do when I have a case like this. Um, and you can do it also as well like here, but again, be careful. 3x times 4x squared would be 12x cubed. That's not the least common multiple. You can still use it, but um, notice that x squared would be the smallest multiple. So it is a little bit different when we're dealing with um, variables compared with numbers. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the basic of what is your LCD when dealing with polynomials. Thanks.